Welcome back to our YouTube channel where we explore the world of SQL Server and all its functionalities. In today's video, we will discussing an essential topic for every database administrator and developer out there that how to import and export database in SSMS. So if you are ready to dive into the world of data migration, let's get started. So first before we jump into the specifics let's first understand what importing and exporting database means in the context of sql server importing refers to the process of bringing data from an external source into your sql server database while exporting is the opposite where you can extract the data from your database and save it in an n external file these operations are crucial for tasks such as creating backup, transferring data between servers or migrating database to new environment. Now let's explore how to import database in SQL Server. The first step is to open SSMS and connect to the database server instance. Want to import the database. Once connected, you can right click on the database folder and then select then restore database. Do some and then just do some quick option settings and browse your file from your system press ok now our database is successfully restored so now onwards we can do our several operation in database as well now let's move on the part of exporting database in sql server management studio similar to the sql server instance i have already connected my database once connected, right click on the database which one you wanna create backup file of that. Right click on that and then select task and then backup. Now follow these steps. Now our database is successfully restored. When working with data import and export operations, it's crucial to keep a few best practices in mind. First ensure that you have appropriate permission to perform this task. Next always double check your mapping and transforming to avoid any data loss or corruption during the process so and that's a wrap for today video on how to import and export database in sql server studio so we converted the basics of these operations during importing a database exporting a database and some best practices to consider by mastering these techniques you will have the necessary skills to manage your data efficiently and effectively. So thanks for watching. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please leave them in the comment. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel for more SQL Server tips and tutorials and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, happy coding.